Hi, this is going to be a general reading for the sign of Aquarius. How are you, Aquarius? All right, so the decks I'm using today is my Who Oracle, my Spirit deck, my Light Seers, Rider Waite, Romance Angels, Oracle of the Unicorns. That's this one. And... My Boti Tarot. Do, 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 do. All right, let's go ahead and get started, Aquarius. Let me fix my, let me fix my do. Ooh. All right, let's jump right in. We're gonna do four cards. You know what? I need my little bell so I can clean the air. Hold on, clear the, clear the energy. Okay, I had to clear the energy with my bell. All right, let's go. We're reading now for Aquarius. We're going to do four from the Light Sears Tarot, and then we're going to do four from the Rider Waits, okay? All right, what do we got going on for Aquarius? What's up with my water signs? A water sign, you guys want, no, you guys are air signs, right? Air sign. All right. What's going on with my Aquariuses? What's up? What's up, Aquarius? How you doing? Mm-mm. Let me move my little rose quartz over a little bit. All right, four cards for Aquarius, please. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. Ooh, that card flew out. Um, Y'all, I've been getting 12-12 all day today. Isn't that crazy? I don't know why. But... And then I, I was watching another reader, and I heard her say something like 12 was like the number of God, like source God. And I was like, What? All right, I don't know if we're going to take that. That's a side energy. You know what? I'll just leave it right here on the side. Just in case it plays into your reading. I'm sorry for any background noise. I'm not using my microphone today. I am using my light so you guys can see the cards. And I'm not using my my microphone because it picks up a lot of background noise. My kids are loud anyways. But <clears throat> Four cards for Aquarius. All right. Did you discover something, Aquarius? Hold on. Thanks. What's up, buddy? Hold on. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that, Aquarius. Mom duty? Okay. So I think I think this this card is gonna play in. I need two more cards for Aquarius, please. <clears throat> two more cards for Aquarius. Okay, so we have Nine of Swords and we have the Tower. What is going on with Aquarius? Whoa. Uh-oh. And then we have the Hanged Man. I have been having so much trouble with this necklace making me itch. I don't know if it's the necklace or my oils that I've been putting on lately, but... One more card. What's up, buddy? This is my one second. Hold on. Mm. Okay, Aquarius. As I paused your reading, it was three, three, three. <laughs> okay, sorry. My little guy had a wet diaper, so I had to change him. Mom duty. <laughs> All right. So, um, I am gonna take that side energy. So. The first card we got is the Nine of Swords. Okay, so this shows me that there was a little bit of anxiety over something. I don't know what it was. Okay, but it came out immediately with the tower. See? My light went out. Hold on one second. Turned off. Oh, no. Must need to be charged. Okay. So, it's off. My light's off. Oh, sorry about that, Aquarius. Um... Of course it would shut off on your guys' reading. <laughs> Anyways, okay. I'll have to charge it later. So, my LED light went out. Okay, so this is the Nine of Swords. It shows me that there's been a little bit of anxiety. And I think it's because of this. Ooh, my ears are ringing. Ooh, powerful message is coming in for you, Aquarius, right now. Just so you know, this is going to be for someone. It's going to be very important. So, there was a tower moment which caused you a, some massive anxiety. I mean, it was just out the roof. Um, some purging, keeping you up at night. Wow. You know what, though? 
It's really weird because in these cards, like all of the crows are black and there's one white crow. So I feel like there was some heavy guardian angel energy around you. Even though you might have felt like at that time you were alone, there was a, an energy or protective energy around you. Okay, and something was on hold. That's what it was. There was something that you really wanted and it was on hold and you weren't sure if you were going to get it. That's what was going on. And you discovered something, some sort of truth that really, really shook your foundation, Aquarius. That's what this Ace of Swords is showing me. And I feel like whatever it was, it came in like a crack of lightning. You really weren't expecting it. But let me tell you what, this whole thing that's been on pause, something's coming in. We got some Nine of Pentacles. So I see some peace coming in for you, okay? You know, the tower's not always bad. It's just some kind of divine intervention that it's like correcting your course. If you're on the wrong path or if something happens that's not in alignment with your soul, then there's going to be a divine intervention. But I don't feel like it was a bad thing. I feel like this sort of truth, whatever it is that you discovered, you sort of knew like in the back of your mind that it was coming, if that makes sense. And so you were sort of feeling like you were uh, like waiting and on the fence about something. But you have something coming in really good. Whether that's like a wish fulfillment or um, a new relationship or a new job. I don't know. It's supposed to be a love reading, but it feels very like new money energy. See? We got, we got pentacles again. So for some of you, it's probably going to be like a new job offer or something. I don't know. So we're supposed to be talking about love and spirits throwing out some <laughs> ten of pentacles. But ten of pentacles is also like, it's just happy endings in general. So it's, you know, a, a creating a family legacy with your person. It's loyalty. Whoa, and it's coming in fast, too. Look what we got next, Aquarius. We got Eight of Wands. So it's coming in like a freaking fireball. Woo! I mean, I want to say, I almost said Pisces. I almost said Pisces. Because I just read for Pisces. <laughs> Mixed nails energy up. And I just cleared the energy, too, with my bell. Two more. Yeah? Oh, we got the lovers. One second. All right, sorry about that, Aquarius. <laughs> Your reading just keeps getting interrupted. I'm so sorry. Okay, mom duties stick tonight. I'm gonna this. I think you guys are gonna be my last read. I was hoping to get four videos done tonight, but mom duty is really heavy today. So, and their dad is already asleep. He went to bed early, so he wasn't feeling well. He had a stomach ache. Okay, so like I said, it's coming in like a bat out of hell. Like we got the eight of wands, which shows me. Something's coming in super quick, okay? And we also got, look, the lovers. This came out too. It fell out on the side energy. So I feel like you've just been kind of like focused on you and focused on your future. And because of that, I feel like you have a love coming in. Or if you have someone in your life right now, then it's very quickly going to turn into like a commitment so if this person was feeling like they were unsure about you then this tower is gonna come in and fucking kick the shit out of them and they're gonna come and they're gonna make a decision quickly that's what it feels like honestly Aquarius I don't know let me get more, one more card out of the can we get one more card of the rider weight for Aquarius please we get one more card. What do you want our Aquarius to know? Let's wrap it up, please. Start with this. With this. Ooh, that card flew out. Ooh, see, look. Knight of Swords. I told you. Someone coming in quick. Quick communication. You cannot make it up. Oh, my God. I got to pull one more card now. Oh, you got this card again, the Hanged Man. See, you got it twice. There was no movement. There was no movement, right? That tower came. I feel like it shook him. It shook him or it shook you. And it forced them to make a choice with that lover's card. Oh my God. One more card, please. 
I knew this reading was important for you guys. I knew it. I could feel it. Knight of Pentacles. Is this another energy? Oh, no. You know what it was? See? Some of you, for some of you, you had a divine masculine that was in this energy, sort of plodding along very, like, slowly. And then this, you know, they were unsure. They were unsure. Look, they didn't know what they were going to do. And that was causing you a lot of anxiety, right? Oh, my God. That's what happened. And then they had a tower moment. Or they thought they were going to lose you or something like that happened. Or they discovered a truth. Either you or they did. And bam, it changed everything. And then they come riding in and look a bat out of hell. Look at that. You can't make it up. Oh, my God. Yup, see, there's that Nine of Pentacles and there's that Ten of Pentacles. It's steps. Nine of Pentacles to Ten of Pentacles. Wow, you could not make that shit up. That is amazing. Oh, my goodness. All right. Great energy, Aquarius. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's let's pull a spirit card from here for you. Oh, my gosh. I'm excited for you. This energy is beautiful. Whoever he is, he's coming in quick. Or he, she... Feels like a divine masculine, though. I feel like this reading must be for a divine feminine. They're coming in quick. Ooh. They know they, they messed up. That tower moment shook at them. Ooh, it shook at them, Aquarius. Let's get three cards for Aquarius, please. Wowzers. Curly hair. So your person probably has curly hair. Ooh, they got that curls, Aquarius. The answer is not right now, but soon. I told you. 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 Last one for Aquarius. The answer is yes. Oh, my God. There it is. Curly hair. The answer is not right now, but soon. I told you. They couldn't make up their mind. This is the final answer, Aquarius. The answer is yes. If you had any doubts that this divine masculine's come riding, he coming in. Oh, he coming in. Oh, he coming in. <laughs> We're going to do some romance angels, though. We're going <laughs> to... Aquarius, what do you got for Aquarius? This reading just got, went from like 0 to 100 real quick for you. The answer is yes. That's amazing. Oh, my God. Aquarius, what do you got for Aquarius? Can we get three cards for Aquarius, please, Spirit? Woo! This energy cray. I can feel them. They're having a hard time even keeping their patience right now. Let me tell you. I don't know what flipped that switch, but it was big. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. See? Oh, my God. You cannot make it up. Deep soul connection, Aquarius. Deep soul connection. Two more cards, please. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Wow. See, look soulmates it says i wish my light was still working yes this is your soulmate because now you guys can't see the cards healing family issues so you've been doing a lot of massive healing work on yourself and it's affected your partner they're starting to see that you've done a lot of work on yourself aquarius let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others so if i feels like your person is asking your friends advice on how to come forward maybe they're intimidated by you and they're so they're asking your friends like how do i you know how do i get through her armor <laughs> you know what i mean like they don't i feel like they want to approach really quickly and they just they don't know how i feel like this too is also about letting people in aquarius letting people in let your friends let your friends give you advice about this. Always trust your own gut, but let your friends give you advice about this person, okay? Oh, shit. But always trust your own judgment. Okay. Sorry. I just dropped, like, two cards. Okay. What do we got for Aquarius? Can we get two cards for Aquarius from this deck, please? We have certain relationships in your life are ending. It may be painful, but trust there's a bigger plan for you. Okay, so some of you guys had to get rid of a relationship that was you thought was the one and it wasn't. That could have been, too, what was showing up with that anxiety card, that nine of swords. 
okay? Something you really thought was like a really great connection and it wasn't. But I feel like you moved on from that. A soulmate connection is in or entering your life at this time. This relationship is divinely guided. See, you can't make it up. You got soulmate twice. This could be your person, Aquarius. A soulmate too, though, can also be like a best friend. Um, it can be a lover. Absolutely, it can be the love of your life. But it can also be a best friend, a family member. Being grateful for all that you, we have leads our hearts to overflow with abundance. Give thanks for the things you have and watch your life change. So time to show just a little bit of gratitude and sort of push the universe along to help you with um, your manifestation process, Aquarius. All right, we're going to pull from the Who Oracle. And then we're going to do, we're going to end with the Unicorn Oracle. All right. My hair is so curly. I got out of the shower and I blow dried it and it's still super curly today. I don't know why. It must be, it was raining here. So my curls tend to come out when it's rainy and humid too. All right. Can we get four cards for Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to look out for? The ones that are dealing with someone now or the ones that are single, what? Get, let me know what they need to look for. Just verify that this is their person. All right, very intelligent. Ooh, they got that dolphin intelligence. Real nice, Aquarius. You know, I love me an intelligent man too. I do, I do. Ooh, sexual. Oh, I'm jelly. <laughs> I'm jealous. This is very nice. Aquarius this is very nice energy. Oh, animals. They like animals. So for, you know, your person is very, very um, kind hearted. They love animals. They Maybe they're a veterinarian. Oh, children. They have children. <gasps> or they want children with you. Oh my God. Look at this. Okay. So we have intelligence and there's a dolphin on there. So that shows you, you know, dolphins are extremely intelligent. We have sexual. Oh, look at that Aquarius. Oh, he's a lucky, 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 lucky Aquariuses. Woo. Well, of course they would be though, right? Aquarius is a very sexual sign, just like Scorpio. Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, very sexual signs. All right. And then we have animals. So your person really likes animals. They, you know what? I will not even give anyone the time of day if they do not like animals, bugs, all creatures. Like if you are the type of man that squishes spiders, squishes bugs, um, I mean, anything kills anything, then you are not for me. I am the type of person I like animals. I like all, all creatures, you know, big, small, it don't matter. Um, you know, I even have trouble squishing mosquitoes. I mean, I will if they're trying to bite me, but then I feel really bad afterwards. Like I'll usually try to swat them away. I mean, there's been times when I reacted like one will land on me and I'll hit it and then I feel so bad. But like, even then, like, I don't like to kill things. Like I won't, like, I'll just swat them away. You know, I'll just go like this. So I, you know, if, if they're not into animals and all of, you know, God's creatures or whatever, then it's a no-go for me. My camera just glitched. These energies are insane, aren't they? All right. Those two planets, man, conjunction. It's just, it's nuts. All right. So yeah, your person is very kind hearted. It's beautiful. And then we got children. So you know, they either want children with you or, and it's going to come up in conversation or they have children already. Take it how it resonates. All right. So we're going to do the last two cards for you, the unicorn Oracle. And then I'm going to call this reading because I got to get back to my babies. They're all over the place with these energies too. So I got to, they're with their, their big brother right now. So he's going to be 10. Um, this April, so he does a pretty good job of keeping an eye on them. And then between readings, I go and peek in on them. So they're just in the other room. Oof. I just shaved my legs today. I just flushed really pink all of a sudden. <laughs> it's like the energy went, whew. But I shaved my legs today in the itchy. Oh, that one just flew out. Oh, these two cards flew out. I don't even need to shuffle. 
balance. Okay, so we have take time to relax. Ooh, you need to relax, Squares. Indulge a little more or less. Set boundaries with your work. So some of you Aquarius are working way too hard. They're saying you need to set boundaries with your work. Stop pushing. Allow yourself for some time for fun too, okay? Go ahead and binge that show on Netflix that you want to watch. Growth. Seek out a mentor or a guide. Take baby steps as you grow and be willing to learn from others. Okay, so Spirit is asking you to trust yourself um, and trust yourself to find a mentor or a guide, someone that you can trust when you have questions about things, okay? You right now, you're going through a big, huge growth period, and it showed, remember, it said, you know, healing family issues. So it says to take baby steps and be gentle with yourself. You've went through a massive transformation. So give yourself that credit, Aquarius. But you also have to be willing to learn from others. You know, nobody knows everything. I, you know, people people um, can always learn more things from other people. Like, we're always constantly learning. Nobody knows everything. So trust that when you are ready, the teacher will show up, okay? So I know I have that, you know, everyone has that issue. And I struggle with that as well, thinking like, oh, okay, I'm, I know best, blah, 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 blah. But sometimes we don't. Sometimes there's blind spots that we don't see. And, you know, that's where your friends come in. Remember, you got the let your friends help you card. Sometimes you have to ask, what am I not seeing here in this connection? What am I not seeing in regards to my job? Like, what, are, what do you think my blind spots are? What are my blocks? And let them answer that for you. The answers might surprise you. It's just taking a little bit of a step back from ego so that you can discover what it is that's going to help your soul's growth, right? That's what you want. I know sometimes it's hard to do that. You know, when, you, when you're in your ego, it's hard to take that step back. But all in all, it's for your soul's growth. I know because I've had to do it a couple times. So trust the process. I love you, Aquarius. Okay, if you want to book a reading with me, just click in the description box and all of my prices pop up. Okay, thanks for all your likes, your shares, your subscriptions. I love you guys so much. Thank you to my Patreons. I have to give you guys um, a big thank you. All right, bye.